Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Jess here and Scarlett in the background as usual. Today I'm going to be recreating the Queen Hailey Bieber's look. Um, I'll put it up here so you guys can see which um, look I'm talking about. Um, I did a poll on my story on Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, you should. Hello. <laughs> my handles will be listed below and I asked you guys which look you wanted to see and majority said this look so I did oh I did it for you if you guys like this the way this video is going please give it a big thumbs up and if you don't give it a thumbs down and let me know what I can do to improve and make sure to hit that subscribe button girl all right let's get into it <laughs> going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow I'm popping that on the high points of my face. I'm gonna go straight to foundation and I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and this is in shade six. This is my favorite foundation. I'm using my It Cosmetics brush and I'm just gonna I like placing it on the back of my hand so it can warm up a bit and then I just like to start going in. I'm going to focus most of the product in this triangle region because that's where I need the most coverage and I feel like everywhere else I can just lighten it out because um, I've got blackheads. I feel like that is my worst skin concern. like. Blackheads, I, what's something in your skin that you could like want better or something? Cause blackheads and dark circles are definitely my go-to <laughs> all the time. Now to conceal the top of my lid, I'm just taking the MAC concealer. It's like, this is in medium deep. Taking the tone that's closest to my skin color. And I'm just very like gently gonna cover up my veins. I just did the top. So I literally just went in with this color, a bit of that one. No, sorry, these two. And then if you feel like you've taken too much, I like to just use the back of my hand to like give it a wipe. And then I just go back in and very gently, I'm like just patting that in. Now, because like I say in like 80% of my videos, this eye is a bit lower and my brow here goes a bit more down. Taking this banana shade, so it's a bit lighter. And I'm gonna be popping that on I'm going to be popping this just here on the arch of my brow. And what that's going to do is it's going to like lift it. Just like contouring. If you want a more in-depth video, I can definitely do that. Or my under eye concealer. And this concealer I like to use to cover up my under eyes because um, I've got dark circles. So... I need something a bit thick. And what I love about this concealer is you actually don't really need to set it. I don't personally set it. Um, you need the smallest amount, like that's probably a bit too much. Now I'm taking my brush and I'm just putting that underneath. I don't, wherever I see my creases, I stop. So. My first beautiful crease starts right there, so that's exactly where I'm going to stop it. And I just put there because I get dark there. A little bit on my around my nose because we all have, or I have discoloration. Now I'm taking my Real Techniques. I think this is just like a oh here we go Real Techniques Deluxe crease brush. I love this brush for concealer because it's so it's dense but it's also very bouncy and like it's very soft. It just I love the way it feels under my eyes. I never have had an issue with this brush. So with concealer I like to start by patting everything down 
and then I kind of go in and blend. Okay, so that's the foundation and concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and use my nude stick in Sunset, Sunset Strip. Replacing this right here. And I'm just blending this in. This is like one of my favorite products um, to use. <laughs> See, it's so just, it blends so effortlessly. I'm going back in with the Wonder Glow. And this time, I'm popping it right there. I'm using this as like a highlight, like a transition for my highlight. But it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So I'm taking this Zoeva 231 Petite Crease Brush and I'm going in with my MAC Give Me Some Bronzer and I'm just in the, in the photo, like I said, it looked like she had a bit of bronzer there. So I'm just focusing it here. I'm going to do a crease very lightly, but I'm going to focus it out here. And now with a more precise brush, I'm just going to very lightly just blend that out. Um, and the reason, <laughs> the reason I'm using a precise brush is because I kind of want it to stay there. I don't want to mess it up and then have it blown out into my eyebrow or something. So for lashes, it does kind of look like it's her own lashes, to be honest, um, which I wouldn't be surprised because she's gorgeous. These, these individual lashes from Model Rock. I'm going to put two, one on each edge of my eye. Um, just because I really want it to give that flick similar to kind of what she has. I'm going to pop them on and then I'm just going to use my Model Rock Lash Curler. And I'm going to use this to curl my lashes. I'm going to go in with just the slightest bit of um, bronzer. She, it looks like she has like bronzer just here. I'm just taking my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Felish, Felish in number two. And I'm just going to be kind of powdering everywhere. feel like we can all say that she always has like such a radiant amazing glow to her so I'm gonna use my favorite highlighter at the moment and it's the Amrezy Anastasia one I'm so sorry if you can't get it but another alternative is the um what's a good alternative um it's the Maybelline one it's in my other it's in my highlight video so if you haven't watched that watch it Got like a lot right there. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. brush and just very lightly bluffing that out. It looks like she has a very light wash of color under her eye. So I'm just very lightly. So obviously now we're going to do our brows. I have not forgotten. So I start by brushing my brows up. I'm going to leave them up for the time being. And I'm just going in with my brow bar to go. And I'm very lightly going to start with the line. You want to take your time doing this. You don't want to rush because you can stuff it up quickly. And then what I like to personally do after I do the line, I brush it up. Again, kind of blend it out and then I just go in and start filling in. This is the part where we go in with our O brow and I'm just going to spray it. Is just brush them up. I'm 
using this Essence 09 lip liner. I feel like they're such an affordable brand and they've got some really good stuff. Um, I think this was like $2.50. So, eh. So this is like one of my favorite all-time go-to lipsticks. It's the YSL um, Rogue Rouge. It's like for gone, but it's like the best lipstick ever. This is literally the best lipstick ever. Going in with Gerard Cosmetics Tequila Sunrise. I'm just gonna set my face and I'll be right back. All right guys, this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like these kind of videos, please leave me a comment down below who you'd want me to recreate, like which celebrity you want me to recreate their look. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, probably tomorrow. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Bye.